Dude, who would have thought staying up till 3.30 filming two nights in a row would be terrible for lifting? Not me. Not me. Tell me a joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? No one. No one who? <laughs> no one, I said. I said no one. Oh, man. Are you not a daughter? What are you doing? Uh, breathing pause squats, 10 seconds, learn to first from Greg Knuckles, increase the intra-abdominal pressure, torso rigidity in order to be more comfortable at the bottom position, squat five seconds. So how do you do it? I just <laughs> squat to the bottom. Yeah. Relax your diaphragm. So, so you actually, forget Valsalva. Yeah, you completely uh, forget Valsalva. What? I first learned it from uh, Greg Knuckles and dude's a genius. What it, are his intestines still inside his body? <laughs> Actually, they bled out of his mouth the other day when he was doing one of these, but, but I think it's safe. But besides that, you'll squat 500. Yeah, and the other more important thing for a guy like me is that I had some of those SI issues. Yeah. This just forces the torso rigidity because you basically train under a relatively heavy load. So this is like maybe 70% or whatever yeah. of an es estimated one rep max, like 345. Um, you gotta get comfortable down there just breathing through the core, work some core muscles that don't typically get worked when you do isolation movements. But when you're going I, real heavy, both solve it. All day, absolutely. Because you want those intestines on the inside. <laughs> and I find actually now my beltless work, like my uh, squat power without a belt, is only about 10, 20 pounds away from with a belt, whereas before it used to be 50 pounds away. And I just feel a lot more stable with my core. You look stable. In an unstable world, you're on my rock. Am I your rockers? Who? Oh. Girlfriend. Who? Your girlfriend. Who? Sandy Marino. Sandino Marino. He just called me his rock. My, I'll call you my Johnson. You're gonna, and you're gonna have a talk with her late tonight. Like she's just gonna be like, okay, so like I know it's funny what you guys do, but seriously, you call him your rock. It's not funny. Yeah. You call him, you call him your rock one more time. Come on. Easy. Easy. Nice. Is that yeah. the proper way to use that machine? Uh, this is the chill spot, the official chill spot of Ford's Fitness. The sniper tower? Ford's Fatness, as I like to call it when I'm here. Eat bacon? Uh, no. You don't eat bacon. I don't like bacon. I love bacon. Well, it explains a lot. I'll hold this, Mike. I'll hold it longer. You'll make it the thumbnail, bro. I'll hold it longer. I'll stare into your soul. I'll, I'll make bacon in you in the thumbnail. You what? Bacon in you in the thumbnail. Bacon heavy. So you'll make bacon what? Heavy. Oh. You. Bacon heavy Can you. Can you not distract me when I'm trying to talk to someone? Ba bacon heavy you. Oh. <laughs> this one's for you, Mike. I'm about to hit my face on that thing. Bro. 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 I call this making the dough. Scoop it up. Bring it down. Scoop up. What do you coach? Kindergartners? <laughs> I'm the kindergarten cop, bro. It's not a tumor. Are you a potty pooper? <laughs> Let's get serious. Come on, Lou. Let's get serious. That was like a hint of Valley Girl in there. This is serious. Let's get serious. Yeah. So what are you getting, Mike? Oh, Mike. boy, go. 
I think we're on elk experience. Far. Hello. You gave us a speech on uh, post-workout red wine. Red wine. Yeah, tell me about red wine. Because red wine has a high thermic effect. So what does that even mean? What it means you it, you're basically when you drink wine, yeah. burns calories. All right, now on a real note, what does wine do? I don't. What does wine do? It yeah. just gets Did, you drunk. <laughs> uh, is there any in between? Is there any truth to your burning calories through wine? Um, no, it's just the, um, so it's the first thing after you ingest it. It's the first thing that your body um, burns off. So I did read an article a while ago that's like beer post workout. Yeah. Was like a thing because it's carb and same idea. Okay. Effect. Is that true? Do you think or not? Um, really? You think it's more of a bullshit reason that fat guys drink wine? Uh, probably. I think post workout isn't the best time to drink yeah. wine. Just yeah. It, um, and it inhibits protein synthesis, and obviously after you work out, you want to. Kind of so cover. protein wine. Yeah. I've yeah, heard there's that, protein there's, vodka. There's, thing. there's protein beer. Oh. I don't know that I would ever drink that. That sounds disgusting. What are you that about? I know, I know we talked about, about that, so my boy, shout out to Dr. Uh, or actually just Alan Aragon, I gotta say. Shout out to Alan Aragon. He said that to me, like privately, he's like, whoever invents a protein beer that actually, like, that you can't taste the protein, it just tastes like beer, would dominate, but they, you know. I'm sure it tastes gross. We should try it. Let's do a video. The science does not exist yet. Thank <laughs> you.